All right, guys, so this is probably about, I don't know, five days stubble, five days growth. Look at that, guys. There is more hair in this razor than there is on the top of my head. Damn. All right, guys, welcome back to the shaving channel. <laughs> hey. I love this video because this video was inspired by a comment from one of you. Alright, so at the end of most of my videos lately I say, leave me a comment. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you want me to review next. And maybe I'll review it, maybe I won't. So today, because when you ask you shall receive, a viewer, Richie Smoove, in response to my Chic Hydro 5 Cents video, said, why don't you review the Chic Quattro Titanium? See that? He says it looks interesting to him. He'd love to know what my opinion is. So I said, Richie Smooth, this is for you, bruh. Now, is that anything like Chris Smooth, Richie? Because if you're like Chris Smooth, you are pretty damn smooth. Chic Quattro Titanium. That's nice. Nice packaging. I'm a sucker for marketing. And I was looking at this the other week. But I went for the five cents because five is more than four. But, you know, quattro. Look. All right. So, value pack. You've got the, the razor handle itself. You've got three cartridges, it looks like, in this, in this uh, pack. All for about $11 at your local Rite Aid. Titanium and diamond-coated blades. Titanium and diamond-coated blades. All right. So that's got to be pretty good. Thank you, Richie Smoove. You keep coming back to watch the show. And to help, not that diamonds and titanium blades need any help. Shea Moisture. Men. That's, yeah. Applies clear so you can see where you are shaving to create high-definition facial hair styles with precision. Protective tea tree oil and conditioning shea butter combine in this incredibly slick, moisture-rich formula that increases glide while decreasing nicks and razor burn. Great for all skin types. After cleansing face with warm water, apply a thin layer onto skin in the area that you want to shave. Shave and rinse. It looks interesting and it's high def. See that? High def. Foamless. Now, in recent videos, as of late in general, I have been leaning towards a thinner product. You know, something that doesn't foam up a lot. Just for the very reason they state here. You can see where you're cutting. You can feel it better. The blade makes easier contact with your face. Let's open this up and let's do an unboxing. I'm excited. Quattro Titanium. Titanium and diamond blades. No wonder these things are so damn expensive. Now here is said titanium shaver, guys. Very nice. Slim form factor in the hand. A little bit of heft. Nice cover here. It's always nice to have a razor cover so you're not nicking yourself up when you throw it in your bag and run. It slides off, which is nice. All right? It's not something that you have to pop on it actually slides off and slides on and has a cap on one side so it doesn't play that game on you all right quattro four blades lube strip rubber guide precise trimming blade here on the back which is nice for those hard to reach spots very nice sturdy stylish feel to it little rubber insert right here for extra grip light to the touch and again in this starter kit comes with two extra blades which is very nice too all right so let's let's go why are we waiting look at my hair it's fluffy today for all you folks out there that have been around for a while I am in the probably early stages of rebranding my channel. You know, I'm an average guy. I do primarily car and consumer products reviews like shaving videos that you're looking at now. 
I like to say that I review products and services so you don't have to plunk your hard-earned $11 down. Like Richie Smooth, you don't have to spend $11 to find out if this is a good razor. I'm going to be the test dummy for you. I'll take the hit for you, bruh. So in the coming weeks, the Media Mart will be transforming to a review channel, more of a, yeah, more of a name that people will associate with reviews. Because what the hell is a Media Mart anyway? I'm making news on my own channel today. All right, let's go. Let's apply a thin layer of Shea Moisture Men's High Def Foamless Shave Gel. Look at that now. Oh, it's got a nice, got a nice soft scent, guys. Like if you don't like a lot of perfume or, you know, if you're a man, you don't want none of that stuff. And it goes on clear. I prepped the skin with warm water, as they said. And I'm using just a small amount of the product. Maybe a little bit more and a little bit of water. I find that water is very good. Water is a good thing to add to the mix on these thin gels and creams. Probably putting too much on. Work that into the beard, guys. Feels good. Smells good. Yeah. I'm, I, I'm like, blinging out today. Diamond-plated blades. High-definition shaving gel. All right, let's... Let's get cracking. Some warm water on the blade here, guys. And we'll see what happens. Oh, that's nice, guys. Now, my buddy and everyday viewer, B-Man, was the first dude to hook me up with Shake. So shout out to B-Man here. That is nice. Nice and smooth. Richie Smooth? This this blade was made for you, bruh. Richie Smooth. Not Chris Smooth, but Richie Smooth. Look at that. Very nice. Very smooth. Now I am cleaning the blade with cold water. Cleaning the blade with cold water. And for the first pass, I am shaving with the grain of my beard. So on the top, on my face, my pretty face, the hair, and for most folks, the hair traditionally grows this way. So I am shaving with the grain. On the neckline, the neckline hair can grow in all different directions, but typically it grows up this way, so I will reverse my my grip here and shave, which appears to be across the grain. I know a lot of people are worried about ingrown hairs cutting across the grain, but that really is not true. Use the device the way it's intended. Don't press below the skin. You're not digging anything out. You're just gliding over the skin. When you cut the hairs too short, that gives them the option to grow in the skin. All right, you're not digging, guys. You're shaving. All right, so here we go. We'll continue. Very nice. Now, what I am noticing is that I have some hairs getting clunked up in a certain section of this blade, which is not cool. Nice and smooth, guys.
No pulling. Worry free. Now I'm noticing that if you don't get right to it, like if you have a clogged razor, your high def lotion or gel can dry out on you. Nice first pass. Nice and smooth. Okay. So the neckline, again, with the grain. Grain or hair is growing up this way. So I'm turning the blade back this way. Still having lots of problems with clogs in this, and that's the one downfall. Now... I do have, or did have, a long growth. And I'm going to switch over to a new blade for the second pass. Nice. Irritation-free shave, guys. This high-def solution here this foamless shave gel is very nice feel nice like i said uh, a hint of like a lemon nice though and soft not over the top let's get let's use that precision trimmer here let's get in those hard to reach areas and up here or trimming and I'm gonna switch this blade now and I'm gonna go for round two we'll apply more of the product this time I'm gonna shave against the grain second and third passes if you need them just allows for that ultra uh, silky smooth close cut up until recently I never did more than one pass Can you hear that? Can you hear that blade doing the work? Nice. Now, I'd love to say I'm ecstatic about this Quattro Titanium. Let me say what I'm, I'm loving about it. I'm loving the feel, the form factor. I love the fact that it has titanium and diamond plated blades. The blades are smooth, guys. All right. Two passes and I'm as smooth and silky as a baby's backside. Right. The head keeps getting clogged up. It's a new blade clogged up on my second pass. And it takes so long to unclog it. When you're fighting with it. So there's got to be something wrong with the spacing of these blades. So... I didn't have this issue with the Hydro 5 Cents, guys. I haven't had this issue with mini razors. I, um, I'm going to have to give this. Uh, the concept is great. And the Shea Moisture Men High Def Foamless Shave Gel. If you're the type of guy, you like a, a light scent, you, you like a, a, a thinner uh, gel or cream, it's it's very soupy. 
So you're applying more product than you probably need. The jury is still out. I will give this a almost a thumb. Almost a thumbs up. I like it for certain. I, I'm a little... I'm not excited today. But Richie Smoove, I want to thank you for the comment and asking me to review this product. Thank you, bro. And I want to thank you all for watching. I'm the test dummy. Don't plunk your $11.99 down on this. Because unless you have like little hairs, they're going to get clogged up in that head. And it's just not, it's not, not cool. Keep coming back with more of your comments, your questions. Let me know what you want me to review next. I am the test dummy, like I said, and I will see you guys next time. But remember. 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 Keep. Play. And I'm, I'm going to see if I can return it. You think I can return this? Good looking. Smooth, everybody say. Smooth. 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 Smooth.